Details are becoming more and more important today and for sure when you shy or you have that introverted personality sometimes it's really really hard Welcome back to my channel, salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur la chaîne Hola, bienvenue dans la Anikana, konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso I hope you're doing fine today, this is another day, another week and another video of me I did a similar video on to how to share your story even when you feel like you have nothing to say Personally and anything when it comes to the setup, when it comes to sorry, when it comes to your own confidence I'm scared to put yourself out there, I'm scared that myself was not scared So it's all about taking that decision, making that choice and really keep practicing it And really grow confident in doing it more and more In order to translate it to your camera videos or just people that are gonna watch you Because if you don't know yourself that much it's gonna be hard for people to relate to you at that level. I need to know, don't mind my little kitty here. Excuse me. I love helping creative women entrepreneurs and I'm really big into growing that confidence, showing up more on videos because it's literally everything right now. You don't have to do it, but if you feel like you have that creativeness and you really want to showcase it and translate it to your interesting brand, this channel is definitely for you because I talk about the personal style, I talk about the confidence and I talk about YouTube because it's definitely where I was able to explore all of that. The thing you need to realize is that in order for you to showcase your personality more, you actually don't need to try so much harder, you know? And that's one of the mistakes that I saw a lot of women making, especially at the beginning, and it's totally fine. You test around, you're exploring, it's a part of your journey. I think at some point I was so much afraid to share my craziness to people out there because I have my little weird things that I love and I have my way of showcasing myself in a way that I don't like to take myself too serious. If you're a coach and if you want to work into the coaching business, you're gonna see a lot more coaches really being serious about whatever they're gonna say. People are gonna stick with you because of your personality. Because if they're looking for any type of information out there, there's a lot of people doing the same thing, saying the same thing with different words. Something valuable that you offer but your personality comes along as well. Embrace that personality, embrace that craziness or anything that you can have that is unique to you. To overshare. A touchy subject in a way that you can open up when you feel like you're ready to do it. Because out there, when it comes to social media or anything like that, people are going to judge you for anything. Judge you for the most nonsense thing ever. So if you are not mentally ready for that, don't feel like you need to share your story because you see anybody else doing that. I see a lot of people doing it more and more because yes, people reacting to it. But you have a lot of people reacting to it in a good way. But at the same time, you're gonna have a lot of not necessarily nice people out there that are gonna come to you and really judging you because of it. Are ready to share that story? I think you can do it because you're always gonna have those mean people out there doing it. But if you feel like you are going to be a lot more affected by people judging you because of it, I don't think it's the right momentum for you to do it. And you can feel when people are not even being genuine when they do it. It's not that I don't like to show my emotions, but when it comes to certain things, if I feel like I'm still working on them, I don't see the necessity and I don't even see the point of sharing that out there because people are just gonna make it worse. Don't feel like you're obliged to do it because you see a lot of people doing it. So showing a little bit more of spices coming from you because it's genuine to you. You are as a person. Define your personal on video. To know who you are as a person, what are the traits that you want people to see the most from you. <laughs> Nobody will be able to see all of you in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. What you can do though is to showcase the best traits about you. I call it the first and the second day. The first day is to get to know yourself by really digging down onto what you know about you. Are you funny? Are you sarcastic? Are you serious? No that you're already emulating in your real life. The second need now is to get to know that from your friends. Always, always interesting to see what people actually see from you and you can even think about it as a potential viewer. Back again and again and again, you know they are your main trait. All of those traits that you're gonna extract from you, your perspective, and your friends are gonna be what I call your profile DNA. <laughs> 
is gonna be you here this is gonna be your personal and this is gonna be up to you to pick which one you want to bring up more when it comes to being on videos if you're really really fun or sarcastic and you do it from time to time in your real life you want to do it a little bit more on videos because they're not gonna get to see you all the time so you want to make it a little bit more enhanced i would say it like that if you're a sarcastic make it a little bit more sarcastic this any spice you already have sprinkle it a bit more and make it really magic when people are gonna watch your videos the, the basic this is gonna be the foundation where you're gonna be able to build up a little bit of a little things here because when you get to know your character and your main traits you kind of know if you're introverted or more extroverted you can get better at anything if you don't even know where are your skills from the get-go i'm an introverted person even though people are really really like surprised when i said you are not gonna want to put yourself out there fear of judgment is real something wrong you're gonna think about yourself and this is gonna be the reason why you won't want to expose yourself and also being afraid of what people can think about whatever you're gonna say or feeling like have nothing to say and you get to be an introverted and especially at the beginning especially at the beginning when you consider doing any type of video so maybe record shorter videos five minutes video we can start with being on stories so if you get to do it day by day every day you're gonna get comfortable you're gonna get even more confident and at some point maybe IDTV leading on YouTube so you can go step by step by that until you get to the point of being really and getting ready for YouTube every success comes from the little actions every single day you're gonna do it more you're gonna discover things that you didn't even know you could do because speaking up not only it can inspire other people it can even push you to do even more and really building a business out of it is important for you the other thing you can do is to share something that is emotional to you if you feel ready to do it do it be my guest if you feel like you're not ready to do it record yourself on your own phone and don't share it to the world start by doing it by yourself start by getting used to do it more and more it could be something that you overcame it could be something that was really challenging for you Drop from there the main questions that you can ask yourself in order to know what you can know and discover from yourself get to create that emotional feeling about yourself and people are gonna relate to that a little bit more don't want to feel like I'm forced to do it because I'm really going with my own rhythm at this point because it's not about impressing people Next thing create a morning routine those days when you need to be on camera being on video the moment needs to feel safe for you so anything you're gonna do before being on camera and even after being on camera needs to be signals for your brain to feel like there's something positive coming out of it pick your clothes in a way where you want to feel good when you look good you feel great think something that you do again and again and again before shooting your videos and being on camera so that the brain is gonna get ready for you being on videos but in a good way in my case i always create a morning routine where i get to dance a little bit before and really pop up that energy because when the body is in movement especially at the beginning you get to have even more energy when you talk to people on camera you don't have to dance if it's not something that you want to do but it has to be something that you enjoy doing my next tip here develop your personal style your background is a part of your branding you are a part of your branding you have a purpose you have a goal you have a freedom <laughs> Love your personal style is to know who you are through your own clothes, through your own style. I have a complete playlist when it comes to it. First question you need to ask yourself whenever you get dressed up for a video or anything like that is how do you want to feel? Put in terms of energy on videos. Think nobody is gonna like you. You're gonna dress up in a way you're not gonna be motivated to do anything afterward. All the thoughts and all the actions, they're gonna lead to something where you're gonna feel invisible just because the thought was there. And I'm not saying that because of the thoughts you're necessarily gonna be invisible. It's because all the actions in between are gonna lead you to be really much more invisible. Dressing in pop colors could be a part of your personality. So if you have that vibrant, intense personality, put some vibrant colors. Get a complete series on to how to develop your own personal style based on your own style DNA. I call it French touch, African swag. Asia, all my inspirations that's what i knew growing up if you want to feel powerful what is the piece? is it a blazer is it something much more structured if you want to be a little bit more playful what are the accessories that can make you feel that way is it that i mean i don't judge you i mean i love think about that piece that could best represent that feelings and translate that feeling the joker cards they have a way to make you feel a certain way 
they have a way to make you transform and feel a certain type of way. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about, especially for people whose English is not a first language. Obviously, English is not my first language. So whenever you speak in front of the camera, you're gonna feel like you need to sound like any type of native English speaker. You have an accent, we all have an accent, we all have ways of saying things and sometimes you're gonna stumble upon words <laughs> just because English is not your first language and people are gonna get to you because of your personality, because of whatever you're gonna say and not necessarily the words you're gonna use for it. There's a lot of people out there, like I said, there's a lot of people judging you based on anything really, but if you need to stop yourself from really addressing yourself in such a genuine way because of those people you're gonna get stuck for life. I think it's already a bigger step than anybody will ever take. You're pretty much great at it, probably, most likely. You're already doing a great job at just communicating and wanting to do those videos in English. That's something to celebrate, my friend. Get to script whatever you're gonna say into smaller bits. Try not to record everything at once. If you need to do your intro, do your intro first. If you need to have the first part being said or talked about, cut even that part into two. When it comes to editing, it's gonna be a lot faster. Because if you stumble upon your words all the time and record everything in once, you're gonna have to look the entirety of the video and really get to cut every little details and every other mistake that you made. You know, that takes a lot more time. And when you have clean cuts, you get then to have a lot more eyes into a smaller cut and have all those details that you can work on instead of having to go through the entire video. So if you have your way of saying things, say them the way they are original. I have that thing with like variety, variety, variety. But I had to listen it more and more and more to make sense of it. I was like, it's French. So French, the pronunciation, even the words, they could be hard for you to even pronounce, you know? Don't take yourself too seriously. That, I think, is the only thing that just puts so much pressure. You have to be perfect. Perfection doesn't exist. Why so serious? <laughs> Breathe. Chill. I'll try. I'm not serious in my real life. I love to be sarcastic and sometimes I say the things the way they are most of the time, <laughs> to be honest. I hope you enjoyed it. This was not a fun video to do. And that authority at some point, it's because they got to embrace themselves. If you like that kind of video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of it. Being good, being weird, but in a great way. And I say it all the time. It's une différence entre ne pas nécessairement essayer de copier toute personne à côté de soi, mais d'être soi-même tout en s'inspirant des autres. C'est toute une grosse différence ici et ça c'est ce que je voulais vraiment mettre en avant. I'm gonna see you for my next video and like I say all the time, keep smiling because it's free, it's contagious in a good way. Bye.